What's up guys? We're going to be checking out another microelectronics video here. We're going to be looking at, you guessed it, the Arduino. We're going to start doing some stuff with the Arduino. Had quite a few different requests for this little uh, all-in-one kind of development little board that is fairly inexpensive. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at her since uh, we've kind of been doing the Raspberry Pi as well as some other things. I figured we'd, we'd take a look at this very popular uh, little board. Now the thing that makes the Arduino so popular, um, I believe in my opinion, is the fact that the Arduino, uh, it's the software that comes with it, the software package. Makes it very, very easy to uh, build programs or sketches as they like to call it. It is uh, kind of a hybrid of languages. It, it kind of reminds me more of C. It's more of a feel like C. I believe it's C based. And, uh, but anyway, it's, it's a very easy, very straightforward way of doing it. It doesn't require a programmer. It just requires a USB, uh, cord, you know, USB port. And so you just plug it in USB, it programs through USB. Um, it appears after the little bit I've played with it, it appears that it's got a, uh, some sort of, uh, kind of like the, let's see, what is it? The MCP 2200 or something like that. That is basically one of those transceiver chips that changes USB to serial. So the Arduino basically shows up as a serial connection on your PC, which we will see here in a minute when I start showing you how it's actually connected. Anyway, uh, it's very simple. You just write your code, you hit load, it loads it, done. No programmer, no external hardware. It just does it right from the USB port. So very, very popular device. <clears throat> anyway, what we are going to be looking at today is as usual, when we start any type of new <clears throat> microcontroller or new type of uh, hardware uh, system for microelectronics, we're going to do the simple blink program. So for this, what we're going to do is we're gonna pick uh, port number 13, which is on the Arduino, which you can see here, and we're going to put our little LED here. Now this resistor right here is about a 220 ohm resistor is what uh, they recommend on Arduino's website. Uh, however, like, I don't know, in my pile, I, I couldn't find any 220, so I used a 270. It's the same difference, going to be fine, just a little bit higher. It's 50 ohms higher, so it's going to be probably just a hair dimmer than what it would have been at 220. So no big deal, just around, just as long as you're in the ballpark of 220. I'd say at least 200 ohms. You know, you get down to 150 ohms or less, and you might take a chance on you know maybe drawing a little too much current out of the Arduino. Now, I have no clue if this thing is current limited. Uh, at all, if they have any type of protective circuits uh, installed on it. I haven't had a chance to really dig through it and really uh, look through it. So I guess a word of caution, be careful with it. Don't uh, don't try to draw more than what it can take, as well as uh, don't try to short out pins or anything like that. I have no idea if it has short circuit protection. If it does, fantastic. But again, you don't want to be doing that on a regular basis. So let's get into how we uh, connect this guy up. Well. If you're using a Windows machine, I, I attempted to do my VirtualBox uh, machine, my, my uh, old one that you guys have seen me um, use Linux uh, for development and whatever. Haven't totally got that to work yet. Maybe later on I'll, I'll get that to work, but I think it's having a problem. It's having an issue with the USB port and the addressing and whatnot uh, going through a, through a virtual uh, machine type scenario. So I'm just gonna do it right here on a Windows 7 box. So when you do this, what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on, uh, you'll need to go to your start, then go to computer, right click on computer, and then choose manage. And from there, I've already done it on one of my other screens. I'll pull it over here once it pops up. It's being slow. You will get the computer management screen, okay? So under this, you will look at uh, the device manager is what you're gonna go for. Under this, you will have the ports, com, and LPT. You'll open this up and you should see the Arduino Leonardo, okay? Now, if, if, you, if you plug the Leonardo in first, I believe, and have not downloaded the software and installed it, it will not be able to find the driver for the, for the Leonardo, or in either board, the Uno, the Yun, the Leonardo, whatever. Um, you will need to go to their website, which I'm here. In fact, I'll, I'll just, I'll take you to it right now. Let's, let's just do it. Arduino.cc. All right, let's bring this up here. 
You're going to go over here to download. And like I said, if you're doing the Windows machine, uh, let's see, we're up to 105 is the version. You're going to do Windows Installer, and you'll download the Windows Installer. So you can tell I've already downloaded it. You'll run that installer. It'll install. It installs in your program files uh, folder and whatnot. And once it's installed, you should be able to plug it in. And Windows will try to auto detect, but it will usually fail. It'll usually pop up that little balloon that says that it failed. When it does, come to your device manager. Make sure that it says Arduino Leonardo, and it actually, or, or Uno, or Yun, or whatever it is. If it doesn't recognize it, simply right click on it, click Update Driver Software. You will say Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then you will go to the Drivers folder. In fact, I already have it up here. It'll be in your program files under Arduino, Drivers, FTDI, USB Drivers, and then the appropriate uh, folder for whether you're running 64-bit or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just chose the i386, you know, whatever. And so you do that, it'll update, and then it updates the driver, and you should have it up here. Now, what you will need to take from this screen, you'll have to remember what COM port you're on. Right now it's on COM7. So keep that in mind, COM7. So then you'll go ahead and you'll launch the Arduino software. Once you, uh, once after all that's been taken care of and it's connected, and you will get just a very simple little pad. Basically, it's basically your little sheet of paper. Now, what you will do, I've already set mine up. Mine says down here in the corner, it says Arduino Leonardo on COM7. It normally won't say that. It'll be some default value, and I think it defaults to the Uno is what it defaults to. So you have to tell it what board that it's using, because this is a universal IDE for all the Arduino products. The the Yun, the, the, the Micro, there's a Micro one. I don't know. In fact, actually, I'll show them to you. What you'll need to do to set it up is come up here to Tools. You will go down to board, and here is all of the boards, okay? Now, me, when I was doing it on the Linux side of things, those Linux users, uh, I'm sure that yours, if you're, you use a computer that's full-blown Linux, it'll be it'd probably be fine. My problem is I think I'm going through, it's when it goes through the virtual machine software that I'm running, it gets all botched. But if you're running just a pure, either you're running a dual boot or, or just a pure you know Linux machine, um, a lot of times if you're using Ubuntu or something like that and you're using the 12.4 version of Ubuntu, um, for some reason I haven't seen it, but the, the repo is out of date. Uh, it'll download the version 1.0 of this Arduino IDE. And so you need to go ahead and download the tar file from Arduino's website, which it's there. You click on Linux and you choose you know, the version you have and all that stuff. And it, it gives you the tar file. And you just need to do an extract, you know, just extract your tar file. And then once you do, then you can just run it from there. And then you should get version 1.05. Uh, because what will happen is if you have like the Leonardo like I do, well, they didn't come out with the Leonardo. I can't tell, tell it a version after version 1. So it won't be in this list. So that's you know that tells you right there you may not have the latest version of the IDE. So anyway, now that it's here, I've chosen Leonardo. You can choose whichever one that you've 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 purchased. Then you come down here to serial port, and what it should do is scan the serial ports on your computer and give you a list of them. Now, since my computer uh, is you know a newer computer and whatnot, I I don't have any onboard serial, so all my serial ports would be virtual. Well, right now, obviously, the only virtual serial port I have connected is the Leonardo and that is COM7. But if I had, let's say, a USB to serial device connected and maybe something else that was connected, USB to serial or something, or I had onboard serial hardware, then you would have the different uh, the different COM ports that it would scan on your computer and you'd have to choose the correct one. So anyway, so now that that's selected, you get the Arduino Leonardo on COM7. And so you're ready to go. So. The first thing we're going to do, like the title said, is we're going to choose our Blink program. Now, I've already uh, gotten one from their website. Uh, and I honestly didn't notice this until just recently. But you can go to Examples, and they give you Basics. See, like there's 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 the Blink program. Digital, Analog, Communication, Control, Sensors, Display. They give you a lot, a lot of pre-written code. And I can see why now that this is very popular. They give you a lot of... whoops. They give you a lot of pre-written code. I mean, that's amazing. Like sensors, they got a, they got ping sensors. Let's see what that is. Let's click on that and see what that does. Yep, it is. It's the ultrasonic ping sensor. In fact, we may we may play with that since they've got a a pre-written piece of software here for it. I have a ping sensor. We may plug it in, and play with it. 
but that'll be another video. For right now, let's just go ahead and hook it up. The way the hardware hooks up is right here on this screen right here. Pin 13 will be the uh, anode of your LED, and then of course the cathode will go to go to ground. So that's how you'll do that. <clears throat> And then, of course, remember your, your resistor. So what I did was I just, uh, like I said, I didn't know that that, was, uh, that wasn't that was there, that those examples were there. So what I did was I did this. So now uh, we got this little Blink program. I got this off of uh, Arduino's website. Um, I changed it a little bit because I put it, I, I like it to blink fast. It was set at uh, one second blinking, but I set it to, to uh, half second. Anyway, how they're doing this is it looks like they have gone ahead and they declare and they do a well, pretty good job of documenting. If you get any um, code from their site, they do a very well, very good job of documenting their code, let you know how they're doing it. So they've got LED equals 13. Um, they've got it down here. They have this void setup uh, command here that initializes, you know, it says that it initializes this pin as the digital output. So, okay, so that's that's your tri-state register. So it's probably setting up the tri-state register. And by the way, this is a uh, Atmel chip that uh, Arduino uses. So it's similar to like like the microchip uh, microcontrollers that we've been using. Um, pretty much the same thing, except instead of it being microchipped, it's Atmel. Anyway, um, so they're setting up their tri-state registers. They're setting up pin 13 by, you know, issuing an LED here and they're setting it up for output. Okay, nothing too complicated. Then they're saying just void loop, and this is going to be their um, their process loop is what they're going to be doing. And so then they say digital write LED high. So there's where they're outputting the high to turn the light on. They're delaying 500 milliseconds. It looks like their delay command is in milliseconds. Um, and then they've got this digital write LED low, which turns the LED off. Makes sense. And their delay is 500. So for and 500 milliseconds. So it's Actually, half a second. I need to redo this here. Half second. There we go. And we'll come up here and we'll say half. Whoops. Half second. There we go. Now everything makes sense, right? The world makes sense. Now, what you can do now that you're ready to um, do this, you can you can you've got different buttons up here. You've got uh, a new to create a new sketch. You've got open and you have save. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what you can do is you can say verify, and this is basically your compile. This is how you compile your code. So I'm going to click verify, and down here it's going to basically compile my code, and it's going to let me know if I have any errors or if anything's missing or you know what's going on. When everything works, it says done compiling. I have binary sketch tells me how big it is, and that's basically that's basically no errors, no nothing. So we are good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I want you guys to see that this is that this is actually working. So what I'm going to do is before I program it, I'm going to uh, let's see, move this over like this, and then I'm going to pause the video for just a second, and I'm going to set set it up over here uh, on my lab bench, and then I'll probably put the video right here in the corner, and you guys will be able to see it working once I when when I click upload. So I'm going to pause for a minute. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've brought this up, so we should get the video right here. Okay, so now, now that we're watching this, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. So now, it, I think it'll usually compile it again. Yeah, compiling sketch, so it's going to compile it again, and, and then you get this slow blinking light while it's being uploaded and it's being it's doing its thing. And then there we go, and it's blinking now. So. There we are. Now, if we wanted to change it and make it, uh, let's say we'll we'll change it up here. Oops, we'll change it up here and make it make it longer. We'll make it one second. Change that to one second. Easy enough. Hit upload. It'll recompile it, re-upload it to the Arduino, and we should see it start blinking. So, there's our slow blink, and there it is. There's there's the slower blink. So there we go. So that's basically our simple little blink program. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's uh, that's basically all there is to doing digital I/O with the uh, with the Arduino. Now I'm sure that you can always check their website, and I'll put some links uh, here at the at the at the bottom where you guys can see the, uh, uh, the like the different resources that they have available for. They have a map that tells you every single function that you can call, uh, every single you know command or ways to do whatever. Um, they have listed, and you can click on each one, see the syntax, see how it's used, uh, examples behind all of it, and all that fun stuff. So 
with that, I think we'll be, that's that's pretty much it. That does it for the, the Blink uh, program, very simple. You could always change this LED number and put it on any any different uh, digital pin that's that's listed here. You can put it on, you know, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, you know, put it on any of those, any of those pins. So, um, okay, that's pretty much it for the Blink program. As always, like, subscribe, share. If you haven't uh, haven't uh, subscribed, this is the first time you watch them. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, down below or at the end of this video. And we'd love to have you join the join the community that's kind of grown here. Uh, we've kind of gotten to be quite a big group of people that are uh, involved in commenting and talking about all these different things on my channel here. So we'd love to have you, and we'd love for you to join. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, guys, I think I'd ought to do it. See ya.